have you ever wondered about the kind of dance David danced? I'm in 2 Samuel 6, chapter 16, first. Hi, everybody. This is Nisi, the moderator. Peace and strength to everybody. I never wondered about the dance until maybe a couple of years ago when I was doing some soul searching. Because I'm one of those praise dance dancing people <laughs> from the Holiness Church. The old Holiness Church. And I... I'm, I'm good with that, you know. But there came a point where I needed to understand what was going on. Um, I can remember during my time of serving uh, the church, um, my pastor and his wife really taught us how to take care of the church. And I consider most of us to be servants. Um, and I was on a uh, some auxiliaries but I I was on a choir and at one point um, this song came out that was different because you know the holiness churches have their own way of doing things back then um, but this song came out that made me think you know gave me the feeling that I was back in the you know tabernacle with Miriam praise of the Lord uh, and the song um, the, the, the melody was something like, um, what was it? Uh, it was called, when the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David dance. Like, da 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 Kind of sounded like a little like Fiddler uh, uh, on the Roof. And I was, I, I love that song. But I never thought about, what kind of dance did David do? You know? I'm just thinking about the Ten Commandments movie and how the people of uh, Israel looked in my mind, how David looked in my mind, was like the people of the Middle East today. But I was wrong. And in order to understand the dance that David was doing, I had to look into the Hebrew concordance. Um, I had to, well, I, I go to gate, uh, Bible Gateway. That's one of the places, um, one of my tools, uh, Bible Gateway and also Bible Hub. And I looked for the word. And I was surprised at what I saw. And I walked away with a, a theory that I want to share with you about spiritual dancing. So I had this theory that every dance in the Bible had a name. And my reason is because the people of the ancient world believed that everything had a spirit and they named everything. Names were very important to the ancient people. Keep in mind that the events of the Bible took place in indigenous Africa and indigenous Asia, long before the people who are there now arrived. So when we look at the word dance in the Bible, we have to remember that the people who translated the Bible did not have names for dances because they weren't spiritual like that. I went to the Greek Hebrew concordance and I saw there was a name for the dance that David did. And the name of the dance is called the Korah. Or it's called the Korak. And then I saw it in the form of a CH Korah. And it's described as a moving back and forth motion, uh, something with a leg movement. But the one thing that I noticed is the Bible says that David was paying tribute. And then it says that he made a burnt sacrifice and a peace offering. Then the burnt sacrifice was wholly burnt. And I said, is that a human sacrifice? One of the things that I think we have to realize when we read the Bible, when we consider the spiritual events from the Bible, is that these are our ancestors. And they were spiritual people. Highly spiritual. And at that time, the people were, I would say maybe some of them borderline superstitious. And they believed, the conquerors believed that 
You could call on spirits. You could you could have some type of impact on their lives with your dancing, with your praying, with the way you wore your hair. And this is why um, I believe when um, the indigenous tribes of America began to do something called the ghost dance, the Europeans stopped them. They could no longer do the dance. The dance was created to get rid of the Europeans. And they wanted to put a stop to it. And today there are still some places where you cannot do certain dances. They will block you. When you read your Bible, when you go into Bible Gateway or you go and read your Hebrew concordance, you're going to see that there's a name for the dance that Miriam did. There are names for the dances in the book of Psalms. There are names for the dances uh, that I think uh, Saul's people did. Every time you see dance, there's a name for that dance and most of them have a ka sound in it. So I'm very mindful of how sacred the dance is. how spiritual it is because some people seem to seem to take it for granted like it's a joke but it's not there's some very serious spiritual meaning to those dances so when you give your praise to god when you hear a song about david consider that he was making a human sacrifice as well as some of the other people in the bible the name of the dance is called the core, and it is a movement moving back and forth. It has some leg work to it. There are other dances where there is the, it is, uh, they describe the ring circle. There are some other dances that are related to human sacrifices. There are some dances that are related to mourning. And these, all of these things are important to history and in understanding the Bible. I hope this helps in your research. Thank you for listening. And if you have any information, please post it.